HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, you'll hear about the new Hopkinton Middle School mission statement. Josh Morrison from Faith Community Church talked to us about a great Christmas program to help children in need. We have the latest Hiller Sports update plus much more. But first, here are some happenings in Hopkinton you need to know about. Hello, I'm Terry Malisi, and you may recognize me from my show, The Gathering. The Gathering is a cooking show filmed in my home, my kitchen, usually on a Saturday before a dinner party that evening. You're going to have to muster up all of your courage for tonight's gathering, because tonight's gathering is a haunted gathering. Currently airing on HCAM and available on our YouTube channel, you can view The Gathering, a haunted gathering, as Terry Malisi makes some scrumptious Halloween-themed snacks. Years ago, the kids would go trick-or-treating, and after, they would all come back to my house, and they'd play downstairs while the parents, while the costumed parents, would have a party of their own upstairs. So the kids grew, and the parties fell off by the wayside, and I thought it would be nice to bring them back, and that's what it is. So a lot of the same parents are in the neighborhood and they came and um, it was a cocktail party. So we had a lot of spooky appetizers and the house was really decked out um, spookily and uh, it was a great time. And here you have it, bloody fingers served with a side of blood. I made a lot of appetizers such as a coffin dip, creepy finger dip, bloody meat pieces, just a lot of different things, all with the Halloween theme. We had a couple of spooky punches too. So why don't you stop on by, check out when the show's playing, and join us, and you'll learn how to share great food with people that you care about. Well, I want to thank you again for joining us for another episode of The Gathering. And remember, with Trick or Treat, you always have a choice. Here's to H Cam. Woo! Hey, myself and uh, my friend Dave Fall and Shannon Jackman put together uh, 22 push ups to honor our military men and women that ultimately take their lives each and every day to suicide. Uh, we also pushed one, we call it the plus one, for active duty military men and women that also ultimately take their lives um, every day. So the 22 plus one is 22 veterans each and every day that commit suicide due to the physical and psychological wounds of war and or serving in the military. Plus one is active duty. police and fire department getting ready to get down to do 22 push-ups plus one for active duty military men and women so these men and women are going to join Dave Fall and myself to do 22 plus one. Real quick can we say hi to Chief Lee of the Hopkinson Police Department sir thank you very much for having us out here today. The Hopkinson Police and much. Fire Department and we have an Ashland firefighter down here also. All right so let's have everybody get down. Are we ready? Yeah. And exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and one more. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. 
Hopkinton Middle School held a ceremony to introduce their new mission statement. Students and staff worked tirelessly for months to come up with the new school mission statement. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming. Welcome to our harvest party to celebrate the rollout of our new mission statement, growing an active mind, excuse me, growing an active community of strong minds and kind hearts. As you look around, you will see various projects which are interpretations our students created to represent our mission statement. I hope you enjoy the various images they created as much as I do. Our team, even one team even collected canned goods for Project Just Because. I would like to tell you a little bit about the background of how we came up with our new mission statement. We started with our faculty. In a workshop, we discussed two questions. Why did you want to become a teacher? And why do you still do it? The major themes that emerged were community, inspiration, positivity, creativity, and challenges. Others included independence and compassion. For these ideals, we developed our mission which you now see behind me, right there. Since then, we have worked as a faculty, community, and with the student body to embrace and represent these words. However, we're far from finished. Our future plans include creating the vision of what this looks like in our school. We meet every Wednesday from two to three, some students representatives have been selected to be part of the committee and more will be added. We would love for more community members and parents to join us. We will continue to speak to all students as to how this will affect them. After tonight's rollout, we will continue to meet to create our school vision. On your way out, please stop at the table and grab a card and go on at home to take the survey. Please fill out leaves and explain what you envision our mission to look like in the classroom, cafeteria, on the field, on the bus, downtown at Bills or Yoga Beach, in the hallways, and any place where our community gathers. So we were rolling out the new Hopkinton Middle School mission, which is, if you can see on the stage, it's um, growing an active community of kind hearts and strong minds. And what, with this, we feel like that encompasses everything that middle school students want to be. So as you walk around the courtyard and inside the library, you should be able to see the representation of the teams um, and each child in the building somehow created something that told that they individually interpreted what is it to have a kind heart or a strong mind or to be active in our community. So really, it started with a with the entire faculty meeting and having a discussion. Then I invited faculty members to come together and work on a mission committee, and 17 people responded. And we've been working since last year, every every single week, every Wednesday from two to three, and. And we researched, we worked really hard, we brought it back to the faculty and for the first time at Hopkinton Middle School we had 100% of people vote for this and, and wanted this as our mission. So now our task is to work um, and create the vision that goes along with this mission. So we're looking for community members if they'd like to join, parents, I have some students joining us um, and we're going to finish what, it, what does it look like in our classrooms, what does it look like in the hallway, in the cafeteria, in what does it look like when you're in our community because we're all community members. So what does it mean to have a strong mind, kind heart and to be active in the community. So that's what it's all about. Don't forget, you can hear a whole lot more about happenings around the schools in Hopkinton on a new series currently airing on HCAM called Highlights from the Hill. School Superintendent Dr. Kathy McLeod fills you in on the latest school news and events. The Faith Community Church in Hopkinton has teamed up once again with the Samaritan's Purse for the Operation Christmas Child Program. The program is one of the largest of its kind to help children Josh Morrison of the Faith Community Church told us all about it. 
Our church has partnered with Samaritan's Purse and Operation Christmas Child for a number of years now. And what it is, is that we, we, bring the, we get the shoe boxes and we distribute them to people. And then throughout the next couple of weeks, they go out and fill them with just essential supplies that somebody in a third world country might need, from toothpaste, toothbrushes, to warm socks, to um, any of those really necessities. Or, or, and in addition to that, like a cool toy, you can deflate a soccer ball and put it in there with a pump, you know, something cool that they could open up on Christmas and get a Christmas gift. Um, we provide a list in the, in the box that has suggested items, what works, what's not so good, and then for certain reasons why. Um, but then we're just trying to really bless people and give them items that they may need through local organizations in that area that reach out to them. So um, anybody that wants to pick up a box and fill it is welcome to. We didn't want to limit it to within the church. We wanted to open it up to anybody in the Hopkinson area that wanted to hop on board could do this. Um, all they need to do is they would stop by the church and pick up one of the shoe boxes. It's specific to the organization, so it's not just a generic one. It's their special one. Um, and then go fill it and then just bring it back to us. And there will be a little pamphlet that uh, the person just pays for shipping. It's a $7 shipping charge. So they put it in there, and that's what gets it all over the world. Uh, and can you talk about some of the supplies that you're looking for the most? Anything of the practical necessities that we use on an everyday basis, whether that be hygienic items from bars of soap, not liquid soap, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, the caps or the toothbrush cup, uh, like the covers that go with it, um, socks, plain t-shirts. A lot of the kids that get them are going to school, so notebooks, pencils, pens, that kind of stuff that they can really use on an everyday basis. Are They go a really long way with these gifts, and they're fantastic and really appreciated. Um, we go, we try to say plain t-shirts, um, just because they're going to a ton of different cultures and we don't exactly know who's getting it as far as what country it's going to. But we have, they're broken up into different age groups and you can do different genders. So you can say, this is for a boy that's 10 to 14 years old. And then you can pick stuff in the box specific to that. Or you can say, this is a five to 10 year old girl and then get toys or stuff that's specific to that person. Still to come on HCAM News, Katie Hutchison spent the day at Hopkinton Middle School to tell her incredible yet tragic story. We have the latest Hiller Sports update and Courtney will fill you in with what's coming up on the HCAM channels with our HCAM Insider. A lot more ahead on HCAM News. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hi, my name is Margie Wigan, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen. And they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. My name is Louise Coleman. I'm with Greyhound Friends on Saddle Hill Road in Hopkinton. We uh, have an adoption kennel here, and we have greyhounds, but we also have started having hounds and hound crosses and beagles. We're always here, seven days a week, nine to five. Our website is greyhound.org, and our phone number is 508-435-5969. So uh, we're open to the public all the time. Just uh, give it a ring. Welcome back to HCAM News. Believe it or not, the high school fall sports season is nearing the end, and it's time to get ready for the postseason. 
Hopkinton High School got ready in style as they enjoyed their annual fall pep rally. Here are some scenes from the pep rally as well as highlights from a huge football game versus Medfield. Are you ready? HHS, are you ready? Later on that pep rally Friday, the Hillers football team welcomed in the Medfield Warriors. It was raining throughout the whole night and then with a scoreless game and 137 left to go in the second quarter, thunderstorms moved in and eventually the game would be suspended until Saturday at 4.30. Picking it up on the Saturday afternoon, third quarter scoreless game about 9.40 left on the clock. Quarterback Ryan Emer finds Liam O'Toole, who takes it all the way to the house for six, a 52-yard touchdown for O'Toole. Fourth quarter, 7-0 Medfield. Emer finds Captain James Voss inside the five. Refs call him down at the one. Mitchell Gonzer would punch it in to make it 14-0 Medfield after the extra point. Just over two minutes left in the game. Emer finds Jake Dubs for a big gain. The penalty was against Hopkinton. Medfield would capitalize on that. A handoff to Austin Sumrall gets them within the five. Starting lineman John Quinn in at running back. He'll take care of business. Rushing up the middle for another six. The extra point makes it 21-0 Medfield. At this point, the Hillers trying to avoid the shutout. Jimmy Adams threw a beauty to Shane Cooney. The Hillers added a two-point conversion to make it 21-8, and then it's onside kick time. The Hillers get the ball back off the onside kick, but wait a second. The refs talk it out and decide a false start against the Hillers. So they have to do it again. This time, five yards back from the 35-yard line. They squib it. It's downed, and that's the ball game. Medfield takes down the Hillers in a game that expanded across nearly 23 hours. 21-8 is the final score. The Hillers are 2-5 on the season, and they will continue on in exhibition play, while 5-2 Medfield will play playoff football. A solid effort by both TVL rivals. Be sure to stay up to date with all Hiller Sports by checking out our daily Hiller Sports updates on our website, hcam.tv. The Hopkinton Education Foundation hosted Katie Hutchison at Hopkinton Middle School. Katie has been traveling the world and speaking for about 13 years, telling the story of a tragic experience that occurred in her life and she hopes that through her story, students and parents can learn valuable life lessons. Very quickly to understand about trauma is the only way through it is through. You can't go over it or under it or around it. You have to go through it. Katie Hutchison spent the day at Hopkinton Middle School and talked about a personal experience that tragically impacted her family. I had an amazing busy day filled with um, incredibly empathetic, curious and bright 
uh, children. I spoke to the grades six, sevens, and eights, um, each class individually, and shared a, a very difficult personal story that they they heard with, um, I like to say, hearts wide open. They were um, an amazingly respectful audience who asked intelligent questions, and I think came away um, feeling very um, empowered to uh, be a community uh, within their school. It was beautiful. During the evening session, Katie told the tragic story of the murder of her husband Bob and the impact it had on her family and what could be learned from it. Children that should have been waking up on the first day of the year and pulling something out from under the Christmas tree to play with or going outside and building a snowman. And instead, I was sitting them down side by side and crouching down to their level and finding the plainest words I could to explain something horrible had happened and that their daddy uh, the presentation tonight concentrated on really sharing the same story with parents so that we could start some positive dinner time conversations around social responsibility. Um, the difference between tonight's presentation and, and the way I spoke to the kids uh, were around some issues, um, parenting issues, um, to do with supporting parents to make good choices in boundary setting and um, doing the best job they can at uh, preventing similar tragedies uh, to the tragedy that I faced um, uh, that brought me here to share my story. Katie's husband, Bob, was murdered trying to break up a neighbor's house party by a man named Ryan Eldridge. That institution was nothing short of a hellhole. People that worked there told me that Ryan was going to stand about a 50% chance of coming out a hepatitis infected heroin addict, even though that's not the way he went into jail. And I was determined that that was not going to happen. We've had enough waste, enough loss in this story to last everyone's lifetime. If Bob had had an opportunity to live the life that he was supposed to have lived, he would have made such a remarkable contribution to my family, to our community, and probably beyond. But Bob doesn't get that chance. And there is nothing that I can do to change that fact. So I can't think of a more fitting legacy than for Ryan to do something positive and powerful with his own life like get out of jail and get a job. If you meet somebody and they decide they want to bring children into this world, that those babies are born into a home that is safe and loving and free of substance use and free of violence, that would be enough because it would mean that we had truly broken the cycle. The program, sponsored by the Hopkinton Education Foundation, was meant to show the importance of making positive choices responsibility, forgiveness, and communication. I've been speaking publicly for the last 13 years. I've visited over 500 um, schools around the world um, sharing my story. I've written about my story. I've, um, the story was made into a movie uh, for Lifetime Network. So it's been, um, it's been a, an accidental career, I often call it, but a very rewarding one. Um, the opportunity to meet communities who want to look at a better way of um, handling harm and a more restorative approach to, to conflict management. Forgiveness was not about letting Ryan off a hook, believe me. It was not about making him any less accountable for the horrific crime that he committed. But forgiveness was my way of saying, I deserve this life. I am choosing to move forward in a healthy and positive way for my children, for my family, for my community. A whole lot of great programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Saturday, October 29th at 3.30 p.m., the football game against Medfield will air. On Monday, October 31st at 6.30 p.m., Sally Almy and Barbara Beal join Mary McLeod as they discuss the many ways the Friends of the Seniors raise money for the Senior Center on a new senior view. Uh, is, a, is a big source of income for us, um, so that we appreciate anyone that comes to shop there, and there are really some good bargains and some good things. Uh, this basket that Sally has brought with her and this hockey stick. This is a new project. This is our third year for doing this. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a silent auction, but we put these items out the 1st of November and they stay out until the last day of our Christmas sale. On Tuesday, November 1st at 6.45 p.m., the Board of Selectmen meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Wednesday, November 2nd at 7.30 p.m., Terry Malisi shows you how to prepare traditional Thanksgiving dishes on The Gathering. 
You don't want to tightly pack it because then it won't cook evenly. And then we're just going to place it in the pan as such. On Thursday, November 3rd at 7 p.m., the school committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And on HCAM Ed, the 2016 Hopkinton High School pep rally will air throughout the week. There is so much we do here at HCAM. To get a sneak peek at everything going on, head to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about Hopkinton events, you can also sign up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view further details about the Faith Community Church, Operation Christmas Child Program, plus the latest Hiller Sports News. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care, and I hope your October was fantastic and your November is even better. Thanks for watching. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com.